Bo, I'm just lovely. I'm telling you, man, I didn't hardly recognize you with that with that 1970s mustache. <laughs> Well, I had the goatee on too, okay. which was all a little gray and white and okay. professorial. And the other night I was in the shower, I just, you know, and I go, oh no, did I just do what I thought I did? And oh, you nicked part of it? I, well, I think, no, it wasn't a little part. Of, and when I went, it looked like uh, something they wore with some of the rappers would wear. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so you, you shave in the shower? Yeah. Okay, I don't see how you. I need a mirror to do to shave, huh? I just feel. You just know? feel. Well, all right. yeah. I guess you felt wrong. I felt wrong. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, where have you been traveling? Doing a lot of uh, cruises. A lot of cruises. A lot of cruises. Some clubs, not as many, but uh, uh, just doing the cruising and and just enjoying the children. They get to uh, the daughter's twelve, the son's fifteen. I got a high schooler now. No. He, How's he doing? He's doing good. He played. He played on the uh, football team this year. All right, as a parent, okay. Let's let's go here. Uh, this whole concussion thing. Are you concerned as a parent? I I am. I am um, concerned about it. And he plays the position where he plays linebacker, so he has to stick his head in there a lot. Yeah. Um, I, so I do. I I am concerned. But he told me the other day that he doesn't think he's going to play any more football. He wants to be a model. You know, because the girls have been telling him he's cute, so he wants to be a model now. Well, I was like, well, as long as you can get a scholarship being a model, I'm fine with that. <laughs> or have your college paid for yeah, already. That's right. That's exactly yeah. right. But he's a good student, so, you know, I guess that's a no-contact sport modeling. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, what about uh, uh, a soccer? Would he play soccer? It's, it's contact. It's To me, it's a collision sport. It is a collision sport. I mean, if I've seen some <laughs> soccer games, they get at it pretty good in soccer. Oh so, yeah, it's amazing. And no equipment. No equipment. That's right. They get at it pretty good. So I don't. And then he's he's 15, so he's way behind the ball in soccer. He couldn't be a soccer player now. Man, you'd be surprised. Okay. You know, I I was I was a soccer player before I played football. Okay. And so they made me a kicker. Okay. And you know, I like kicking soccer style because that means I'm closer to the sidelines to run and hide. To run and hide. After I kick the ball. <laughs> <That's like that. laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, DS is with us. He's at Vasani's all this weekend. He's got one show tonight at 8 o'clock and one on Friday and one on Saturday at 8.30 with the pasta specials on Friday and Saturday now. I don't know. Oh, I got them right here. going to make me hungry. Yes, I am. Uh, his first one is Lovejoy's and mine favorite. Italian meatloaf parmesan. Uh, homemade meatloaf is made from fresh ground black Angus beef, onions, garlic, parsley, parmesan cheese, and fresh herbs. It's his mother's recipe. His mother's recipe. Yeah, and uh, for nine ninety five, served with penny pasta, sausage manicotti is on the list. Stuffed shells with meatballs, grilled chicken cagiatori, and one of the faves is chicken and shrimp angelina. All for nine ninety five. He's got five during the month of December. Uh, not the normal eight because we got so many Christmas parties coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday night at Vasani. So uh, we had it looked like we had we had um, State Farm there last night. Oh. Yeah, I tried to get a discount on my insurance. Did the double check. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't work. It would not hook me up. Aaron Rodgers! <laughs> double check. Hey, with, um, with kids now, 12 and 15, and the young lady is 12. Mm -hmm. it, She's do, going on 44. Now. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you. Do, do you <laughs> see it? Boss of me. It, do, you, do you see it already? I yeah, mean, I see it already. I seen it when she was... When she was five years old, I said, one time she, she told me to, to play school with her. She said, Daddy, would you play school with me? I said, yes. She said, for a whole hour? I said, yeah. Do you promise? I said, yeah, I promise. We get in there. We get in her room. She said, all right, Daddy, I'm the teacher. You're the student. Go stand in the corner. I said, <laughs> don't you back talk me. Go stand in the corner. And had me in the corner. And then she put three or four other make-believe kids in the corner. She was a mean teacher, man. <laughs> I mean, she had the whole classroom interrupt. And the bad thing is my wife her, was laughing. I said, oh, see, she done fell for the stand in the corner game for, for an hour and didn't tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. She knocks on the door and asks her. She said, well, I'm here to get Darren. He's got a very important appointment. My daughter said, not today. He's in the corner. <laughs> said, okay. Time out section, That's right? right. There I'm, you go. And I didn't do I said it's just like regular school when I went. I'm in the corner. Exactly. <laughs> 840, uh, Cowboy Bill Morton has that film clip they're showing at, at Vasani's for his uh, New Year's Eve show about his daughter, the teacher calling him, and, he's, and he says, uh, Mr. Martin, your son is a, your daughter's a class clown. 
and we're really upset at this. And they go home and little girls in the car, Daddy, are you really mad at me? No, just keep it up. You'll be able to work for half an hour a night, make a lot more money than the teacher does. That's right. That's right. <laughs> How is it that that shouldn't be the case? That shouldn't be. That right. shouldn't be yeah. the case. Yeah. But as an entertainer and as a comedian, where do you get a lot of your material? Is it from family? I know. Yeah, I, I, I tend I tend to tell stories. So mine mine comes from from family and from you know you know going through situations, every situation. I don't usually do. You know, just uh, like one-liners. Uh, you know, if, if I some sparks a story, like I was playing golf with these guys last time I was here. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> no, don't tell that one. <laughs> is it a good story? It's a, it's, <laughs> no, I don't know if you can tell it on the air. No, <laughs> I'm oh, playing oh. with the hippo. He'll tell you. That. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that was good. Well, you know, when you when you're playing and you always get, want to see who hits the ball the closest. To the hole, to the hole. Sure. So you know, so a couple of guys hit the ball, and, and I guess Hippo, who's it was your turn. It was Mikey. It was Mikey. Right. And so Hippo's about to hit the ball, and Mikey says, "Hippo, get it, get inside me." I was like, "Oh, I don't think that's good." <laughs> <laughs> good thing we're playing golf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. A, I, I just you know things you say on the golf course you don't usually say at home. Exactly. Um, Eight forty-three right now. A dance when you're when you're writing stuff. Do you try it out anywhere? Do you try it on your wife? Do you try it on your son? Do you, I, do you, how do you work it? Or you I, just throw it into a routine? Well, you stage? know, it, I try. I try to get it. I try to get it on. Uh, try to just just take it right on stage. Um, you, but, well, I do try it out like in the mirror, but yeah. I don't usually try to try it out on people. You know, I used to do that all the time, but people got tired of that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have one of my buddies. He was a comic. You know, he every time you saw him, he, he all he doing was you never knew if he was really talking to you or doing material. So, so I try, you know. So I usually, you know, go over it in the mirror a couple of times. I've been doing it a long time now, so I got a pretty good ear for it. So yeah. Now I know if it's Dale Jones used to come up here to the He was living in Fort Myers. Used to come up to the uh, science on open mic night, mm -hmm. and he. Asked Mark if he could use some new stuff. He's standing there on stage ripping out of a notebook. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so he's right. So he's just ripping it. <laughs> no, it just throw oh, that. That is terrible. And uh, but it's you just take it right to the stage. You, you know what it's going to be because you've been a, you've been on stage for what? I mean, nineteen years. I was going to say twenty. Yeah, nineteen years he's been on stage, Tommy. That's amazing. Is that You're still doing a carnival? I'm still doing carnival. Oh. Still right. doing carnival. What, what's your court? Uh, what do you usually do from? Lauderdale? Well, you know, we we jump out of everywhere. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so, so normally, normally, what I do is uh, um, I meet the ship maybe somewhere. Like I'm going next week. I'll meet I'll meet the ship in Cozumel. No, no. I'll well, fly into Cancun, which I don't know why flying to Cancun, but I got to get over to Cozumel. So I got to. Well, they've got a little jumper plane that takes you over there. Well, well, I, 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 you don't want to get. I don't on want that, that, so I'm not on that. So <laughs> I'll fly into. Cancun. I ride a bus to uh, Playa de Karma, take a take a, a ferry across the street. I mean, right. across the water to Cozumel, right. yeah. and then take a cab to the ship. When they could, they could just fly me into Cozumel, <laughs> but yeah. that would make too much sense. Yeah. But I, but I'll fly into Cozumel, do the second half of the of the cruise. Um, it'll come back into. Uh, Miami, mm -hmm. and then I'll go back out and I get off in St. Thomas and fly home. So you usually do ha half of one cruise and half of the, the other. First half yeah, of the next. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's a fascinating cruise life uh, from your accommodations on about <coughs> the uh, 27th floor below. Oh the yeah. Main deck. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I help them change the oil. I do. I help them. <laughs> 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 We're gonna be right back. Tommy's got a weather forecast for today, and uh, we'll talk to you in just a little bit after traffic as well.